boys and girls, uh, today I will give you a tutorial of my favorite streamer of all time. Uh, I fished it for a couple of years and it's a uh, streamer pattern, streamer fly there, which I always have in my box and mostly of the time on my leader. It's called Rustic Confidence and it's a, a normal size uh, articulated streamer in the colors black, rusty, brown. Uh, so let's go. So to begin with we start with the end of course uh, and I use actually two threads for this fly. Um, GSP sort of thing, very like uh, very strong and a little thinner for um, uh, the back end and when I tie the fly but this I only use to secure the, the wire to the to the first hook. But this is like a um, Eto, uh, uh, just black, brown, doesn't matter really. So I start with the end fly. This is a Arex uh, NS uh, 122 Light Stinger, size 4. So let's begin. Just attach the thread course and you can do it in all different ways uh, I like to have this is uh, this fly actually has not a great amount of flash but 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 some and I use uh, ordinary flashable this is uh, uh, copper Piece because I'm gonna have it uh, both on this fly and also on the first hook. So I tie it in like this. And I just pull that back. And now uh, in the back here, I use uh, just a strong marabou, little bugger marabou or strong marabou uh, in the color brown or rusty brown, doesn't matter. I like the rusty brown. And I start to tie it in uh, pretty close to the, to the hook guy because I want to like twist it a bit so it uh, goes around the flash. Like that. And then for I use a hackle. This is a Senius Aqua Whale. Uh, it's in the color Peanut Brill. I like it a lot. It's a very nice uh, color for for this fly. And I think the trout apparently loves it. So I just tie it in like that and hackle the fly. And when you hackle it you just pull the fibers back so you don't tie them or hackle them in. You leave about a couple of millimeters to the hook guy. Like that. <laughs> then I use uh, black marrow, but first you need some silex. This is a color com combination called. Uh, Copper and black. I 
only use two legs. Time in and then we just fold them back on each side. Like that. And you don't want them this long, so I just cut them a little bit. And then you use some black marble, of course, like I said. You try to like press the fibers down on each side, so get the nice. You don't need need it. I don't tie it like in on the uh, for the back back fly. I don't tie the black marble so. Uh, on the under underside only on the upper like that so that's the first part and now for the second just put some super glue on this one as well And now for the second fly, uh, I use a little bit, bit bigger hook. This is the Audex uh, Trout Predator uh, Light. You can also use the normal Trout Predator, uh, not the light one, but this is the light one. And it's a size one, so it's a little bit bigger than the second hook. And for this I use a little uh, stronger uh, thread. This is a GSP. And for the wire, this is a Senyu wire. in and then fold this back so it's, it's really stuck I can handle big fish in the back hook like that <clears throat> sexy right Like that. I don't really know if the UV matters or not, but apparently fish like it, so I don't complain. So when I've done this, I just whip finish this thread. This is because I do it with this thread because I want it to, to really uh, be tight and hold together for, for really big fish. Yes, a little layer of... Super glue. And then I use the black thread again. Start this fly like I did with the first one. With the flashable in copper.
and also with the brown or rusty brown uh, marabou as I had on the first one. This is a great color combination both in like colored water, high water, low water, clear water apparently fish love it, or trout um, and the veil again Pull the fibers back. And here I want a little bit more space for the for the head and marabou and, and rubber legs. So here is I save spare like five millimeters. Something like that. Dun -dun. And for the rubber legs. I don't want to use too many rubber legs. I think it's uh, enough with like one pair or two of them. Tighten on this side and then turn it over and on the other side. And here you can save them this this long if you want to, but I just cut them a little bit. Like that. And now for the end. First Use black one on the top. This is a pretty simple fly to tie, actually, uh, but of course it take, take, takes time and it's a lot of, of different materials. Not really, but but still it takes time to, to tie it, of course. And also on the. And this uh, part, the under part, I don't uh, tie the same length as the top one. I want a little bit like belly, shorter belly. We finish it. And a little bit more super glue since I cannot put on the head. This one I use the fish skull bait fish head. This is a size small medium in the color dark grey. You can also use some copper or what you what you prefer. And now I go back through a thicker thread just to secure the head here so it doesn't flip over when you fish it. You want a fly that lasts like for a great amount of fish. Of course they don't do it because when you caught a couple of fish with throw it in a rock or something, the hook is bad and, um, it 
that's why you need to have like a ton of these with you for my own flies I really don't put on any ice but just to make this one pretty I will do it And done. So this is one of my favorite streamers. Rusty Confidence is the name. And <clears throat> if you like this video, please share it. So, and also subscribe, of course. Uh, I would appreciate it. Thanks a lot for watching. Take care.